Right, so um, we have a person inside an elevator with a total mass of 1,300 kilograms. The tension in the elevator is 8,000 newtons. We assume there's no friction. First, let's begin this whole problem with a free body diagram. We have the tension and we have the weight. And we want to know the force of gravity acting on the elevator. Let's remember, force of gravity and weight mean the same thing. So W equals mg. That's going to be 1,300 times 9.8. And that's going to give us about 13,000. Let's get an exact number. 12,740 newtons. Now, um, we have, we want to get the net force acting on the elevator. Let's remember, um, in the y direction, we're going to have some of the forces as mass times acceleration. And what we want is this part here. So that's the tension minus the weight. And so we're going to do 8,000 newtons minus 12,740. And that's going to give us negative 4,740 newtons. So it's the acceleration of the elevator. That's negative 4,740. The net force is the mass times the acceleration. So that's going to be negative 4740 equals 1300 times A. And the acceleration that I actually end up calculating ends up being a reasonable number, 3.6 meters per second squared. Now, if the person in the elevator has a mass of 50 kilograms, what is their weight? Weight is mg. And so that means we have 50. And you know what? I need to be really careful the acceleration is negative here, so we need to make, so in, in other words, the acceleration acts in the same direction as gravity. So 50 times 9.8 for this next part, that's going to be the weight, and that ends up being, I believe, 490 newtons. Let's just make sure. A nice 490 newton weight. So let's go ahead and get the apparent weight of this person. So we are going to say that the normal force minus the weight equals ma because we're actually in the elevator. And so that means we have the normal force on the floor, the weight pushing us down. And so we're going to actually get the normal force minus 490 equals the 50 kilograms times negative 3.6. And so we're going to end up getting a normal force of 310 newtons. Does the person feel heavier, lighter, or normal? Well, the normal force is the apparent weight. That's what we read on the scale. So they're going to feel lighter. So there are two possibilities. One is we start from the top, accelerating down, speeding up, or approaching the top, slowing down to rest. And I'll let you try to figure out why um, based on your notes.